right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and thank you so much for uh, sent the first playlist of videos that I sent um, or that we post on YouTube to be more specific um, uh, because that's going to be a lot of the, that's going to constitute the predominant crux of today's conversation. Um, and uh, if you guys have any questions and comments saying anything you guys want to get out, um, just feel free to interrupt me uh, at any given time, because if, if not, this is going to be a stream of consciousness from my side. Um, uh, on the agenda for today is, well, first, let me take a, let me take a kind of look at what we want to do moving forward uh, with these uh, broker councils, because I know for the last two weeks, uh, we didn't have them. Uh, well, actually, last three weeks because one of them was Father's Day. Um, but according to, but of my of my actions was two weeks, and um, during this time, uh, we've been able to, apart from, you know, put together the set of releases that we want to and that we're going to discuss. We've also uh, really thought about how we want to use or what it, what type of what type of engagement system we want to use in order to be able to 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 engage or inspire the continuous engagement of the next several thousand brokers that we plan on onboarding um and that's not a self-evident idea you know because it's not obvious what the appropriate strategy should be um we are and we and I, I've, I've come up with something and i've ran it across you know several people that i think could be viable it has its roots and right now, I'm speaking specifically as a as kind of more of a reoccurring, uh, a reoccurring uh, engagement cycle, similar to the way that the broker council is a weekly reoccurring engagement cycle. Um, but how we can do that to expand uh, and include more people, because at the current moment, uh, we are we're literally um, I literally meet about a day or two away uh, from doing a huge uh, direct to consumer push. Uh, and that is going to be accompanied by another wave of a very large uh, B2B push from the broker's perspective. And you guys will get a little bit of insight as to what we're planning on that side. Um, obviously, we're going to release um, the, the, the entirety of what that means for brokers and, and what that even is going to enable or what that's going to be attractive for brokers in the domain of. But um, even just the release of Instacrypto in the fashion that we're doing it will obviously spark a lot of new interest or re-engage old interest. So with kind of that new attention, uh, I wanted to underpin that with concrete mechanisms of, let's call it training, community management and engagement, um, which are uh, something that has to happen on a reoccurring basis. So if I was to revisit what we've done in the past, uh, we've, had, uh, uh, we've had daily webinars, we've had webinars that happen every, once every other day, uh, we've obviously had the broker council. Those are probably the closest things. And we did those for short periods of time. And those are probably the closest things to any reoccurring engagement system that we had. Um, what we learned from those is that they work and that in order to keep them working, you needed to make it more engaging, like every time, because people obviously get sent, sense like people get they they develop a tolerance for them even if it's very engaging the first several times and so how i how we plan on combating that requirement for increased excitement as well as getting everybody or not everybody but different constituencies that we have to engage with that is all a part of the evolution of the broker council um if you remember the initial reason for the broker council when we started it uh, about two months ago was simply to, uh, to have a forum to address the like growing, growing, growing questions that were not being answered. And what I think we've accomplished with the broker council is that, that the people that are a part of the broker council are far more comfortable uh, and they just have their questions answered. And I think that that right there is good for the people that are a part of it, but not good for the people that are not a part of it. And so then, and we, we've, we've experienced qualitative differences in the way that the people in the broker council treat global exchange. They're obviously more 
they're obviously more temper, like they they have a better temperament about it because they feel informed. Uh, you know whether or not they're you know daily actively pursuing the opportunity. That's not what we really care about. What we care about is their relationship with the with the technology or the vision and the people in the council just have a far better one, even if their engagement is low. And so we know that it has worked for the 12 people. If the, if the objective is just to have uh, getting everybody that is a part of this kind of engagement process to have more, uh, more tolerance and more uh, purview into the products. And so we want to expand that access to everybody. Now, just doing a weekly company-wide call is kind of the obvious answer. But I don't think that is the, the answer that will allow us to continue to engage with that level. Because I think, I think that that will have some depreciating effects over time. So what I'm actually going to do is A, continue the broker council, but make it much less of a one on 12 conversation although it could be still very um, based in two-way communications, but make it uh, me talking to everybody, but addressing the council. So it's almost like uh, a hearing that's obviously done by the people on the call, but is addressing, is going to be live for everybody to see um, immediately. And so that's one kind of element. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to release the, I'm going to release the structure for this, this week, um, which is something like uh, there are going to be people that we invite and it's going to be a rotating list. That's the other thing. The, the council members will be a rotating list. Now it, it, it probably means that the guys that are currently invited will be the first several to be invited, but it will be like, let's say this week, X amount of people from the group of 12 people that we have right now are invited they get to be on the call with me. I speak to them, they get to ask questions, but everybody else also gets to watch the stream and it goes to YouTube right away. So that's just more of like a, let's call it a state of the union that happens on a weekly basis. So it's easily consumable um, by a live stream. Also, it is consumable on YouTube immediately thereafter. Um, in conjunction with that, uh, we are really thinking about ways on maybe even a daily basis on how to engage. Um, I have developed something for that, something that's very um, a gamified, that's something that has roots and incentives that we want to pay out and things of that nature. Um, I think that I'll save that probably alongside the release of the, the uh, Broker 2.0, which is, which is the, the name of the, the, the entire set of releases, which includes a technology release as well as an incentive release for the, the next generation of the, the global exchange broker platform. So, but for now, from now on, that is how the broker council will work. It will be much more heavily promoted. Obviously right now we don't promote the broker council because we don't, we don't particularly, nobody knows about it because only the people in the 12 know about it, but now it will be a promoted event. Uh, the people that are invited to be on camera with me will be obviously promoted as well. Um, and everybody is willing to is able to join. Certain people are willing to have dialogue with, and those are obviously selected in the in the previous week. So that's what's going to happen as a fixture every Sunday. It's going to be much more like a conf a press conference. Um, and then with with the release of the broker the new broker platform or the the new rebranded um, paradigm of the broker platform, which we'll talk about briefly today, um, I'll be releasing a daily incentive package. Um, so I just wanted to put that to the side, clear out how we're going to do that.